Good evening. The situation is so bad that this family has gone from just sending supplies to family members to now sending supplies to anyone they can. They're just saying thank you very much and God bless you and you know, that's what they're saying in there. Shipped all the way from Polk County, you can see food being handed out to patients at a hospital in Venezuela. We're sending toilet paper, medicine, um, canned food. For Heidi Dyer and her husband, it all started two years ago. We got a phone call saying that they needed toilet paper. Now, every few weeks, they send supplies to Heidi's family members and a growing list of people in need. They make $4 a month. That's how much money they make. And the price of the food went up, so they just don't have enough money to buy food anymore. And they go to the stores and everything is just empty. The country is facing severe food and medicine shortages and even basic supplies. Any of the other humanitarian crises that are around the world, this one rivals anything going on right now. It's very bad down there. As the situation gets worse, they hope to send even more. We just have everybody texting us and saying that they just don't have anything. For fear of safety, they didn't want to talk about the political situation. All Heidi can say and hope for. We just hope for the best and things are going to change. Obviously, they need as much help as they can get. If you would like to send supplies or donate shipping costs, I've put more information on our website, WFLA.com. In Polk County, Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.